Yeah. Good morning to one and all. Uh, today's topic is the data engineering life cycle. Yes. So in previous class, we have seen what is data engineering. Today, uh, we will see data engineering life cycle. So data engineering life cycle consists of five components. First one is generation, data generation. Second one is data ingestion. Third one is data storage and data transformation. And last one is service, data serving. Okay. So first we'll see one by one. What is data generation? Exactly. So already I said we have we are daily dealing with the data. The data are generated from various uh, sources, uh, from IoT devices, or social media, or customer transactions, or sensors. These data are generated wide range of sources. That is known as data generation. Example: web traffic, financial transaction, IoT sensors. Next step is data ingestion. What is data ingestion? The process of bringing raw data from its sources into a data storage system. So, already we know uh, the data is generated from various uh, range of sources like sensors, IoT devices, and the social media, customer interactions. Those data, raw data, are uh, generated from various sources, and we are bringing those data into the storage system. It is like a uh, for example, uh, Apache Kafka, AWS Nasus, Google Pub. These are the various storage, cloud storage platforms we are storing data. There are two kinds of ingestion process. One is batch ingestion. Another one is stream ingestion. So batch ingestion, loading large set of data at a regular interval. That is batch ingestion, batch by batch. Stream ingestion is nothing but real-time data. Live data we are ingesting, uh, doing uh, loading real-time data. So that is uh, stream ingestion. Next step in life cycle is data storage. After ingestion, the data is stored in the suitable environment based on its volume and its type. So for example, data lake like Amazon S3, Azure data lake. So these are the cloud platforms we can store the raw data. And also data warehouse uh, like Google BigQuery, Amazon Redshift. These are the various data warehouses we can store the data. There are two types of storage structure. One is structured data and unstructured storage. Structured storage in the sense databases and data warehouses. Unstructured is in the sense data lakes or unprocessed data. Okay. The next step in life cycle is data processing. Yes. We have a raw data and then we are uh, stored raw data in the uh, cloud platform, either a structure or unstructured. Now we are processing the data. What is mean by processing? Raw data is transformed, cleaned, and enriched to make it usable. That is what the data processing. This data processing includes three major components. One is extract, transform, and load. The, uh, these three steps are known as a data processing. The tools which are used for data processing is Apache Spark, AWS Blue, and Google Dataflow. And also there are two types of processing. As I said for uh, ingestion, here also we have a batch processing and then uh, stream processing. That is real-time processing. Okay. Next. Fifth step in data engineering life cycle is data serving. So processed data. After processing all the data, extract transform load etl process after finishing the etl process the data is made available for the con consumption by user or and applications this involves making data queryable and easily accessible for the business analytics or applications that is known as serving of data the major tools used for data serving is sql nosql uh, then mongodb uh, Snowflake, Redshift, these are the various data serving tools. Uh, service models, there are two service models. One is Data Warehouse and Data Mart. Data Warehouse optimized for analytical queries, but Data Warehouse specific subset of data for focused analytics. Then last stage of our life cycle is data visualization and conception. At this stage, the data is visualized 
are presented to the stakeholders through the dashboard or report and analytical tools for decision making, business decision. To take a business decision, we need to visualize the data. The key tools used for data visualization is Tableau, Power BI, and Blue Curve. Usage is business intelligence, advanced analytics. Business intelligence, dashboard and reports, advanced analytics, feeding data into the machine learning model for predictive analysis. So this is the last stage. So just recall. So what are the steps involved in data engineering lifecycle? Exactly. The first one is data engineering. The second one is data ingestion. The third one is data storage. And the fourth one is data processing. And the fifth one is data serving. And the final one is data visualization and consumption. So these are the life cycle of data engineering. That's all. Thank you.